In this video, you will learn how to use a pressure canner to preserve produce. Using a pressure canner is essential to safely processing low acid foods such as vegetables. To demonstrate this procedure, we will use potatoes. After washing the potatoes under cool running water, peel the potatoes and cut them into uniform size pieces. In this example, we are cutting the potatoes into half inch cubes. Uniform size pieces are essential to assuring that all the food is thoroughly and evenly heated during the canning process. While you are preparing the potatoes, bring two large pots of water to boiling. One pot will be used to cook the potatoes. The second pot of water will be used to add liquid to each jar when filling. Cook the potatoes for two minutes. Cooking will help to soften the potatoes and remove some starch before canning. Additionally, the potatoes need to be warm as we will be filling the jars using the hot pack style. If desired, while the potatoes are cooking, Add one teaspoon of canning salt to each quart jar. Adding salt is for quality purposes and it is not a food safety requirement. The jars should be kept warm before filling. Once the potatoes are done cooking, fill the jars with potatoes, leaving one inch of headspace. Add fresh hot water to each jar. Do not use the water from cooking the potatoes as this water will have too much starch and could interfere with the temperature during processing. Using the other end of the headspace measuring tool, scrape down the sides of the jars to remove any air bubbles. Use the headspace measuring tool or a ruler to measure the headspace. Add additional potatoes and liquid and re-measure the headspace. Wipe the rim of the jar with a clean towel so no liquid residue interferes with the sealing compound. Place the metal lid on the rim and secure the metal screw band until fingertip tight. This will hold the lid flat in place while processing. To use a pressure canner, place the rack in the bottom of the canner and fill with two to three inches of water, depending on your specific canner specifications. Preheat the water to 180 degrees if using the hot pack style or 140 degrees Fahrenheit for the raw pack style. Place the filled jars into the canner, leaving space between each jar for the steam to flow freely. Some water may have evaporated while you were filling the jars. If needed, add more water to the canner in order to maintain the two to three inches of water. In this example, we are processing the jars in two layers. Place a second perforated rack on top of the bottom layer of jars, then place the remaining jars on top. Secure the canner lid by locking it into place. In this example, we are using a dial gauge canner. Heat the canner until the water is boiling and steam is flowing from the open vent port. Allow the canner to vent or exhaust for 10 minutes so pressure will build inside the canner once the vent port is closed. Close the vent port and allow the pressure to build to the required PSI for your elevation. The processing time begins once the required PSI is reached. Adjust the heat to maintain the pressure during the entire process. Once the processing time is complete, remove the vent port 
and allow the canner to depressurize. Be careful as steam will flow from this port. After 10 minutes, unlock the canner lid and open it away from yourself. Allow the jars to cool slightly in the canner. The jars will still be extremely hot. Use a jar lifter or tongs to remove the jars from the canner. Carefully remove the rack between the jar layers. Allow the jars to cool and then check each jar to ensure a proper seal.